Hi everyone. I'm going to wait just a few minutes um, until I see some people come on, but we are doing um, catapult physics today. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to make your own catapult. Um, and again, I'll just give everybody just a few minutes until I see a few people pop on. Um, if you're getting on, let me know where you are um, viewing this from and if you are ready to learn about catapults today. And let me know if you can hear me and see me okay. All right, so I see a few people joining us, so I will go ahead and get started. Um, my name's Courtney. I obviously work for Girl Scouts of Central Illinois. Sorry, I'm bouncing the table. <laughs> um, I work out of our Decatur office. Um, I'm the program specialist there. And today we are going to be making our very own catapults and kind of talking about um, some physics behind catapults and what makes them work. Um, so before we get started, I'll let you know what material we need today. So this is kind of our finished product. We're going to make our own catapults. Um, and for this, you will need um, popsicle sticks. So you'll need eight popsicle sticks. You will need four rubber bands. And then you'll either need a spoon or if you have some Easter eggs lying around still, you can use half an Easter egg for your little bucket there for your catapult. And if you choose this option, you will need tape to make sure that this stays on. Um, so before we get into making our catapult, um, I just kind of wanted to explain what a catapult is. So a catapult is a device used to launch objects um, a great distance. In the past, they were used um, in like medieval times, ancient Greek times to launch things over like a castle wall during wartime. Um, obviously now in today's world, um, we kind of have some newer technology, so we're not using catapults um, like we used to during wartime. But um, so today we usually see them in toys, like we are making our own toy catapult today. Um, and then you might also see them um, used to launch airplanes, maybe like on an island where they don't have enough um, runway space. They use catapults to launch planes um, on islands where they might not have a long enough space. So just a few ways that um, catapults were used in the past and then now how they're used in the future. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make our catapult today um, just for fun, just a, a toy catapult. We're not launching anything um, like airplanes, um, but we're going to make our own catapult. And so first you will need um, just six of your popsicle sticks. So I'm going to grab two more um, and they don't need to be colored. I just have them colored, um, but you need six popsicle sticks. We are going to stack them all together right on top of each other. And then you're going to use two um, rubber bands to tie the ends of your catapult. So wrapping that around there, make sure that's tight and it's not going anywhere. Wrap mine around one more time. So I wrapped mine around four times. It was just a standard rubber band. So there is one end. And then I'm going to do the other end. And again, four times on this side. If you can stretch your rubber band that far. All right. So now we have our rubber band, um, rubber bands around both sides, and we have six um, large popsicle sticks. Um, rubber band together. So that is the basis of our catapult. And then this part gets a little tricky, so you might need a parent's help um, kind of balancing this. But we're going to use our last two pop popsicle sticks. So six should have went in here, and then you have two more. Um, and we're going to put them in a V um, over, like in the middle of our catapult. So you can see that there. So a V. Um, and you are going to put, let's see, 
one rubber band in the middle. So this is kind of the tricky part. Um, just finagle it in there. <laughs> I don't really have any good tips, um, but you wrap this around here and it should make an X. So you're making a V with the popsicle sticks, but then an X with your rubber band to make sure that um, you're kind of getting that V in there. So I'm gonna wrap this around. Okay, so as you can see, I have the middle of my popsicle sticks um, now rubber band together, the two of those, the purple ones. And then now that that is secure, I'm going to put another rubber band down at the bottom. And I also wrapped that one around four times. So now you should have this base of your catapult, um, the six pop popsicle sticks in the middle, um, rubber band together. And then you will also have your other two popsicle sticks in a V formation. Um, there's the side of that again, um, overlapping the, the six pops popsicle sticks. I don't know why I'm struggling on that word. Popsicle sticks um, in the middle. So that is the basis of your catapult. And then this is where if you have um, the Easter egg or if you have a plastic spoon, you can choose. So um, because my example has the plastic Easter egg, I'm going to do the spoon um, with the one I am creating. So I'll show this one again just to as an example. So you will need tape, um, either like double sided tape, if you have it or duct tape and then you use just one side of your Easter egg um, and tape that down there on that side or if you are using a plastic spoon which does work better um, because you have the rubber bands kind of holding that in place um, with the other one if the tape falls off then your um, little plastic egg falls off and that kind of wrecks the catapult so I do recommend the spoon if you have a plastic spoon laying around but you can definitely try both um, and see which one works better for you guys. So I am just sliding in the spoon underneath both of the rubber bands. So let's see, there's that. So it should be secure under both the bottom one and the middle one. I just slid it under there um, and that's it. That's your catapult. Um, so if you have ever launched a catapult before or launched your spoon, maybe flicking food at your siblings, um, that'd probably be the most like common way that you've used a catapult so far. Um, you might know that the further you pull back your spoon, the further the food goes. Um, so that's kind of how catapults work. That's just kind of the, the basics. Um, but the further you pull it back, the more force you're giving your catapult and then the further that object will go. Um, so I really encourage you guys to try out a variety of different things today to um, launch with your catapult. I have tried um, cotton balls, like bathroom cotton balls, marshmallows, um, these little like crafting puff balls. Um, they're fun to try. Pennies, marbles, um, and just kind of set up and see which ones launch further, um, what you think might launch further, and then test it out um, and see kind of if that makes any difference by how um, how much force you're giving that object. Um, so yeah, definitely try those things out. You can bring this outside too. It's really nice out today. So maybe try out some different rocks, um, like the heavier rocks, the lighter rocks, see how far they go. Um, your siblings could also make a catapult, maybe have a catapult ca competition and see whose route goes further, um, those type of things. So super easy craft to make. And I'll show my other one too with the Easter egg. So either one, show both. Um, like I said, I do recommend the spoon option because it doesn't fall off um, with the tape. It is secured in there with the rubber bands. Um, 
but yeah you can really try anything out um let me know if you guys do um try out your catapult today and on um, what you tried out um to launch with your catapult what went further um and i will be back here with you guys next week for another stem activity we are going to be making lava lamps um again next monday at three and then jacqueline um this this wednesday sorry this wednesday at three 3 p.m. She's going to be kind of diving into gardening and um, bird feeders and kind of talking about nature with you guys at 3 on Wednesday. And then on Friday, we have Lisa, who's the camp director out at Camp Widgee in Springfield, talking about day camps and supplies you might need um, if you're planning on attending day camp anytime soon. So that's kind of what we have coming up. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Sorry, this was kind of a short video. Um, but I hope you guys really enjoy your catapult. And again, let us know if you do end up trying this today um, and use the hashtag GSCI shines on. We would love to see your catapults, love to hear how it worked out for you guys. Um, and yeah, let us know. Thank you. Have a good